one of the key skills that us businesses need help with is revenue recognition which is basically to recognize whether revenue is to be recognized in the ledgers right so today we are going to focus on a specific us accounting standard which is asc 606 so think of this rule that does not allow the companies count their money as earned until they have gone ahead and delivered the service so this is especially important for companies that get paid up front, but they provide services over a time, right? It could be an annual membership for which they are charging at one go, but they give service on a monthly basis. The good thing is that QuickBooks has an inbuilt system for ASC 606, but many accountants end up knowing only the basics of the software. But if you learn to provide a higher level of service, you're going to stand out in the US market. So let's learn how you can do revenue recognition entries in QuickBooks. And we're going to base this on an example, right? Imagine that you're working with a US company that sells annual memberships to its clients, okay? Now each customer is paying upfront for the entire year, but the company goes ahead and provides service month on month basis. So as per ASC 606, it would guide the company to recognize the revenue on the month on month basis itself. This is done to ensure that the books show the income when it is actually earned, okay? Now, you can use QuickBooks in three ways to go ahead and do the advanced accounting. And by the way, this is a free tool for the first 30 days. Later, you can go ahead and charge your client for using this. So you can do three things while using QuickBooks. The first one is deferred revenue management. When you're getting all the revenue, but you want to go ahead and defer it for the period that you're giving the service. And initially it would end up reflecting as a liability instead of an income. And later on, as you give the service, it will show up as your revenue earned. Okay, that's the first thing. The second one is that how do you make sure that QuickBooks is reflecting this? So there is an automated revenue scheduling that you can do. I'm going to show this to you in the video itself, based on which it recognizes the revenue on month on month basis with an automatic system. You don't have to do anything. The third one is that it will give you enhanced cash flow insights. So when you go ahead and implement this feature, the client gets a real picture of when the revenue is actually earned and you get the entire insights in one go. So let us go and uh, implement this in QuickBooks. I'm going to show you in three simple steps how you can do this too. Perfect. So as you can see, this is my dashboard for QuickBooks. And the first step that we would have to do is to create the service that we are going ahead and giving to the client. Okay. So on the left hand side, you will be able to see all of the options for your books. It is dashboard tasks, um, transactions, etc. So we're going to go to sales because this is a service that we are providing. And then you have to click on products and services because you need to create the service, right? So I've clicked on products and services. Perfect. Now uh, let's go ahead and add a new entry on the right hand side. You can click on new and this is a service that I'm giving. So I'm going to click on service. Perfect. Now, what is the basic information? So I'm just going to call it, let's say an annual membership. It's the item type is service. We don't need to put the category. It's not important uh, price. So let's say that I'm going to charge $1,200 for the year. So it's going to break up into $100 per month that I've earned. It is, uh, you need to make sure that you're mentioning the income account as well. So this is for the service that we are providing. And then you can just simply go ahead and save and close the data, right? So you can see annual membership saved. And this is my entry reflecting right here. I can also go ahead and edit this out if needed. Now, the next step would be to feed this product and service into my revenue recognition model. So I'm going to go back to my left bar right here and I'm going to go to revenue recognition. You can see that this is an advanced accounting feature. Once I click on revenue recognition, it's going to take me to this page. Okay. Now I cannot directly go ahead and automate the revenue recognition. The first thing that I would go have to do is manage my settings. And you can see that there are two options available here, manage templates or assign products and service. Now it is important that you assign that specific service that you wanted to recognize the revenue for. And we're going to use the annual membership part that we just created. So I'm going to click on assign products and service. Now you will see this template, right? Uh, I will have to click on assign template to products and service. Now in the drop down here, it will automatically give me the products and services that I've added. So once I type annual, you will see that the annual membership service that I just created is added here. Revenue recognition template. So there are two parts to it. You can either ask it to recognize it by days. For example, today is 17th of July. Okay. 
if i want this to recognize it by days for example 30 days of the entire year it's going to break up by that and my revenue will be recognized on 17th of august however i can also even it out across periods so it will be on a monthly basis so despite the fact that i make this entry on 17th it will still accrue my first revenue in july itself it will still go ahead and reflect my revenue in july itself because i've done it on a monthly basis right so i'm just going to do it even it out across periods 12 months that's easier and my liability account is deferred revenue right so this is a deferred revenue entry and i'm going to go ahead and save this perfect so you can see my annual membership is reflecting here. My two steps are done. Number one, to create that service on QuickBooks. Number two, to assign that service in my revenue recognition model. Let's go back. So I'm going to go to revenue recognition. Perfect. So now we are on the revenue recognition model. We need to uh, go ahead and sort the entries out. We need to create the invoice. So I'm going to go and click on new schedule. And this is an invoice for me. This is my next step. So I'm going to create that invoice. Okay. Once I click on this, so you can see uh, this invoice is created. This is just a dummy name that I had created. It reflects my email ID and number. I would have to add the customer name. Okay. So let's just say that I'm adding my own name here. I'm the customer. And uh, these are the details. I'm just going to put, yeah, D-A-Y-N-I, customer display name, all of these details you can go ahead and fill out. So I'm just going to put out in my phone number. You can go ahead, CCBCC, and uh, you can go ahead and fill out all of the other details. You can put out the address details also, and you can save. There are different blanks that you can go ahead and fill out and simply save this, okay? So the details of your customer, where the customer is, the address, everything will be reflected here. Now you can see my email ID is reflecting here, and uh, bill 2 also is showing Nidhi Dayani. Now the more information I put, the more it is going to reflect on the header of my invoice. Now, the next important thing is to put out a service date, right? There could be a possibility that uh, your client is paying you money, let's say on the 17th of July, but starts taking the service from 1st of August. For that, service date is important because in this kind of model, the revenue will be recognized when the service is provided. So it could be a fact that your client starts paying today and starts taking the service today or at a later point of time. Both things are possible. So I'm just going to say that the service date itself is today. Okay. What is the product and service? Now to fill out this blank, you have to make sure that you have added the product and service in the first step. So you can see annual membership is automatically reflecting here. So that... Uh, description is, uh, I'm just going to say annual membership. I'm not going to put out any other details. You can go ahead and describe whatever your service is. So I'm going to just say manual membership. Let's go ahead. So there'll be a payment type. You just go ahead and review this. So this looks good to me. Let me just tell you one more feature. Uh, just in case the service date does not reflect for you, you can go to manage settings, okay? And in your customization drop down, you can see that service date is enabled for me right here. If it is not enabled for you, just make sure you enable that. And only then this will reflect in the invoice. Okay. So I'm just going to close this. Save and leave. And perfect. Now it's just going to take a quick minute to reflect this on my dashboard. I will reload this. Perfect. So do you see invoice annual membership is directly reflecting here and uh, the name of the customer, the service date, the beginning balance, what is the liability balance, what is the income? Now, why does it say liability balance is $1,200? Because I have not yet started giving the service, right? So no income is actually accrued to me at this date. But the status is in progress. Now, how do you get a breakup? That's step number three. How do you understand what is the cash flow and what is the projected cash flow over the next year, let's say. So you can see this option. Action is given and view option is there. Okay. Now, see. So it says this is the year and... Uh, on 31st of July itself, revenue will be, amount will be recognized, which is $100. Why? Because I gave it a even breakup of the entire year. If you choose a day-by-day -day format, it will end up reflecting after one uh, month completely, okay? So it depends. Now, if you see, based on this, my liability account is reduced by $100 and my income has increased by $100. It is not going ahead and recognizing my entire income at one go when I'm receiving the amount, but when I 
go ahead and start giving the services to the client. So in this manner, you can see how the breakup is done with every single passing month, your liability is decreasing by 100 and increasing by 100. Why? Because there is an even breakup throughout a period of one year. And that's why 1200 divided by 12 and 100, $100 keep accruing, keep reflecting in my account till the uh, next year, right? Next year, June end. So this is how you can go ahead and see your entries being reflected. It's an automated system. Once you generate the invoice and put it in the revenue recognition model, it's going to automatically do this work for you, right? So this is how easy it is if you know the advanced accounting methods and if you know how to implement this correctly. And uh, for any kind of service where you are going to get a bulk payment from your client, you can use this model. And this is how you can use the advanced features of QuickBooks sitting here in India and doing work and doing advanced accounting work for your clients. How did you find this? Well, this is just one skill and you could do a lot more with QuickBooks. In fact, you could do everything related to ledgers, maintenance of balance sheets, uh, sending recurring invoices to your clients and so, so much more. Well, this is just one skill and you can learn at least 30 more skills just around accounting. And you can go ahead and implement this for your clients in the US as an accounting professional in India. You can do all of this remotely and this is a great opportunity there in the market, which is completely untapped because so many businesses in US are struggling with this. They don't have a lot of money to pay to accountants in the US. And if they don't do all of this work, they end up paying heavy penalties. So as an Indian accounting professional or a bookkeeping professional, there is ample of opportunity for you just that you have to tap it in the right way. Well, if you like this skill and if you want to learn more on how Indian accounting and bookkeeping professionals can do big in the US market and get freelancing gigs as well, you should definitely come and attend our three-day online live bootcamp that's happening over the weekend. It's on the 19th, 20th and 21st of July, 2025. We'll be teaching you a lot more skills. We'll be teaching you how you can go ahead and reach out to potential employers, get freelancing gigs and lots more. So I'm definitely hoping to see you there. It's a live event. Recordings will not be available. So make sure you attend it live. And this is Nidhi signing off. See you there.